Hello YouTube, it's Mark from Spending Wages here and today I'm going to be showing you how you can convert file types such as these on an Apple desktop or laptop. But before I do this, I'm going to give you a little bit of a story about why this video has come about. That what you can see in front of you now is a Sony Handycam. I purchased one of these a couple of months ago. It's really good quality for what I thought was a really good price. When you use a video camera, you can, when it comes to storing the, um, the footage, you can either store it in one of two ways. Well, the main two ways are external memory actually built onto the side of the, the video camera or flash memory like what you can see in front of you now. This is a ScanDisk 32 gig SD card. And this is the exact card that I use with my Sony Handycam. As things stand, any videos that I upload to YouTube are edited in Final Cut Pro X. This is certainly not the best software in the world to edit videos with, I'll admit that, but it does a job. So anyway, I went out, recorded some footage with the Handycam, came back, took out the SD card, put it into my Mac, loaded up Final Cut, and then tried to import the file off the SD card into Final Cut. But unfortunately, I couldn't do this because the Handycam records all footage in a MTS file format. And it turns out that this file format is not supported by Final Cut. So, panic set in, and normally when I panic, I go straight to Google to find out more information. This is what I did, and eventually I came across a company called Wondershare. Here's a look at their website, I'll put the link in the description, and as you can see, they offer a whole range of different products and services. For not just Apple products either, they also support PC. They are on Facebook and Twitter, as most companies are these days, and the tabs across the top will take you to where you want to go. I went to Multimedia, across to Mac Tools, and then down to Video Converter Ultimate for Mac. And as you can see, this is the ultimate Mac video and DVD converter for enhancing, preserving and sharing videos. They offer a free trial. This won't do you any harm to have a go. And if you decide to buy, the software is installed from a unique link. Moving on, some of the features include easily convert videos and audio files, rip, copy and burn DVDs and also download web videos. This is my desktop. Welcome, and I'm now going to give you a quick demo of the product and the file conversion process. Here is the file format that I spoke about before. It was recorded with the Handycam and it has been taken straight off the SD card. So if we now go ahead and load up the video converter. This is the first screen. And as it says, to get started, please select an output option, video, audio or DVD. So I'm going to go ahead and click on video. And this is how things look. You can easily change between the different types along the top, like so. I'm now going to go ahead and drag the MTS file into the video converter. Make that look bigger so you can see it more clearly. And there you go. You're probably thinking, what the hell is that? Well, you will see later on. The file converter comes with a very basic editing feature where you can crop and add subtitles etc but I'm not going to go into this because this is what I use Final Cut for. So if we leave everything as is in here, the image of the clapperboard is much more important as this is where you decide what kind of file you want to output to and as you can see here there are many many different options to choose from. I'm now just running down the list to show you all of the options. Whatever option you decide to go with is obviously going to be based on what you require. As I said before, I use Final Cut, so I'm going to go ahead with that. Now if you click on the Options button, you can further edit this format. These are just common options that you should be familiar with. The resolution, the frame rate, the bit rate, and then down to the, the audio, and again, the bit rate and whatnot there. So if we OK all of that, the Customize button lets you save these settings. And there is also an option below that says apply current settings to all files. But as we only have one file, this is all we need. So if we now go down and hit the export button, the interface changes and the conversion starts. So I'm now going to go ahead and cut this bit out. I think in total it took 12 or so minutes to complete. Two seconds, one second, complete. So now that the conversion has been completed, the file stores itself in a video converted area. OK that, move that out the way, 
and we can now go ahead and drag that out onto the desktop close that and you will see that the new file is in an mp4 format so I'll now go ahead and play the file so you can actually see what it is and also so you can make a judgment on the quality etc just waiting for it to load so if I shrink that and move that out of the way and I'll zoom in so you can see things a little better hit play so for those of you that don't know what this is it's called a powerball and it's apparently the Earth's most powerful gyro. Nothing special, nothing fancy. Have a look on Google or YouTube. There's some people out there with, with, with crazy high scores. I think mine's around 10,000. I was looking for something to quickly record. And as this is on my desk, I thought, why not? And as you can see, the quality is very good. Bearing in mind that you are watching this video through another video. This Powerball is a lot harder to use than it looks. It's all about rhythm, and especially if you want to reach the top scores, the high scores, you really do need that rhythm, and there you go. I'm just about losing it now, and once it's lost, it's gone forever. So anyway, enough of that. If I close QuickTime, I'm then free to go ahead and import the new MP4 file into Final Cut Pro, which I know it accepts. So that's about all I've got to say. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you've got any questions, comment on the video or send me a message. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Take care.